How's it hanging, fellas? I'm Otosh, and this is another episode of Sonic Frontiers, and in today's episode... Oh no, I forgot to invest in my brain capacity and speed last episode. Ah, shit. Whatever, who fucking cares? Also, you know what I was thinking when I had this game paused? Why do I even get skill points anymore? I mean, I maxed out my skill tree, I have every single skill out of the very little skills that are in this game. And I still have 108 skill points. Like, what the fuck for? I ain't getting any more, like, things. I ain't getting any more levels, I ain't getting any more anything. I don't know, let's just keep going, let's do puzzles and stuff. Unlock more of the map. Find things to do, stage to talk to. Sonic should be put on a watch list, why is he going around talking to little girls? I don't know if he's gonna attack me so fast. Fast. What if... Like, touching it at the top would also fail the quest. That would be... Very difficult. I wanna, like, pull it off by... I have the ability to double jump. And I know how to use it properly. But yeah, this challenge would be really difficult if it was actually, like, I fail it if I touch it at the top, too. And you know what this reminded me of? This reminded me of... This reminded me of uh, that one little challenge. What the fuck? I didn't unlock any of the map. It reminded me of that one little challenge in uh, Raymond Raving Rabbit. Where you have to... Well, skip rope like I just did. But the rope is a chain. And it, it's like... It's like a, it hits physics and stuff. So it's actually quite difficult to fucking tell where you're supposed to jump because the rope doesn't... Well, it's not a rope, so it doesn't act like one. It's a big-ass heavy chain. I remember as a kid, I actually had a friend come over to do one of the fucking challenges for me because I couldn't fucking do it for the love of me. And he had to go come over to my house and do the challenge for me. And you know what? Raymond Raving Rabbit on PC is fucking stupid because the game is designed to be a fucking Wii game. It uses motion controls. Hold on, there's more to this puzzle this time because pieces are laying around all whatever like. And I'm not sure which one goes next. I think it's either the yellow one or the other one. This one. I think it's this one. It'll go on top. Then the yellow piece. Ah, I fucked it up already. Thank you. Can I cancel this shit? Nah, I guess I just have to fucking fuck it up completely now. Look, I interpreted the art differently, okay? Open for interpretation. The game is like, no, it's not. <laughs> Thank you, game. Look, a puzzle is difficult. I mean, difficult. I fucked it up. I didn't notice the yellow goes first. Second puzzle I fucked up this episode. The skipping rope I fucked up too. Twice. First time I wasn't expecting it to do like double the fucking skip. And then second time I wasn't expecting it to. Hold on, I think this goes next. Because this piece looks very flat. Did I fucked up? No, I didn't. It's fine. Also, the camera disorients me. So I don't know which one I'm looking at, because they're fucking the same. Well, that would be... that would make this puzzle difficult. What if the thing I have to copy doesn't actually have the colors? Like, I have to just kind of guess it. Like, yeah, I get the shape, but then I have to also deduct which piece goes first by just like... It's not color-coded, you know? At least the thing I have to replicate, the thing I have to build is color-coded. That would actually make this puzzle quite difficult. I got a black energy here, and this one is Tropical Zero Sugar. The can is all golden and shit. I guess it's gonna be mango. Yo, so did cyberspace actually interact with my brain? 
It was designed to catalog neural networks, among other things. So yes. All right, hear me out. Do you Fucked think it all up. those locations I visited were pulled from my memories? That is plausible. It imported the data of your memories and applied it to your surroundings, so you could comprehend them. Maybe that gave me the edge I needed to escape each time. I was covering familiar ground. <laughs> Go me. I don't know what they're talking about. Are we in cyberspace the whole fucking time in this game, or are we just like, whenever we enter level? Are we in cyberspace? I don't know actually. Remember, kid, this is a kid's game. Also, you know what? Ghost of Tsushima, which I beat in recently, I talked a lot about it in my one of my Skyrim episodes. That game is actually 12 plus. On fucking death. I love how he fakes it too. Oh, he didn't fake it. Wait, what? Did he try to fake it and he didn't pull it off? What happened? That poor motherfucker fakes his own death and then he like fucks you over like he did last time. Wait, was that? No. Wait, what? Who did I just fought? Because I. Wasn't paying attention to the name. Was it like Shinobi or the Kunoichi? Because the final form of that guy is the one who fakes his death and gets you by surprise. He has the Dead Ringer. Like, fine, he has two. I never really been good with the Dead Ringer. When I first got it, I was like, what the fuck is with this watch? Why does it not cloak? Like, why does it not make me invisible? This watch is fucking trash. Until later, my friend told me how this works. And then I was like, well, this is a very interesting tool, but I hate it. I like that watch that fucking literally just grants you... Like, it literally makes it where you stand still and you regain invisibility. I know this is probably the most fucking new player friendly watch. You know, that one and the basic watch are the best, in my opinion. Ah, oh, fuck. Is there any other fucking ones, actually? Wait a minute. Are there any other watches in TF2? The basic one, yes. Uh, that other one that, you know... Oh, fucking, I did it again. Dumbass. That one that, you know, gives you the thing. The time returning. Dead Ringer. Wasn't there another one? I don't know. I always found it fucking stupid how, for example, in TF2, when you're going through your inventory, Engineer has a building PDA, or whatever the fuck it's called. But then, in the entirety of the fucking game, you cannot get a different one. So, like, what is even the point of fucking giving me a slot for an for To change an item, I cannot change because there's no other items of its kind for me to change with. Oh yeah, Spice this, uh, Disguise Kit also has that. Where there's no alternative, so we're like, why the fuck do you even have it in the fucking... in the menu? You know what? I take that back. At least with Engineer... No, wait, that's not it. The Pip-Boy. You know, the Fallout-themed construction PDA. That one... That's... That's a customization item, right? Not a building PDA. It should have been. Wait a minute. Is the fucking... The robot hand? I forgot the name of it. Is that one a building PDA? No, it's not. It, that's the one. That's one of... A melee weapon, isn't it? Because you can pull it out as a melee weapon and beat the shit out of people. But that's the item that makes you make the small turrets, right? Wait, is it? I'm fucking stupid right now. I can't... I haven't played TF2 in, in a while. I kind of want to. Like, once I'm done with Sonic, I'll take, like, a break and I'll finally fucking... I don't know, maybe I'll ask a friend or something to play it with me. Wait. 
Where am I even fucking going anymore in this game? I'm just like running towards whatever the fuck. Do I have an objective? No. Oh, look at that. What a view. You know what this game reminds me of? What, you don't? Oh. That's too bad. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you. Sonic of... It's because like, I was running around in the woods earlier in this game and I was like... Wait, you run around in the woods in like an open world environment in Sonic 06 too and then you go into levels. Is this game Sonic 06 too? Is this game Sonic... What's What year fucking came out in? Oh yeah, this one. <laughs> Wait, what year is it? Ah, uh, 2022, that's right. What the fuck is going on? Am I not supposed to... Oh, is it the other way around? Ah, fuck you. I guess it's the other way around. How about we set up a fucking objective? Because I'm running around like a fucking maniac with no fucking purpose. Oh, you know what? Let's go this way. See, we're running around in the woods. Oh, what the fuck, then? Wait a minute. My objective is this fucking direction, though. What do you mean I stray from the path? I thought I would run through the woods as the shortcut. How come I can run around the woods but not into them? What is fucking going on? I can't go into the woods. I guess the woods are fucking haunted. Oh, it's one of these. And it probably will send me up. Because there's a flower next to it. Kinda funny because there's a bunch of flowers around here. Look at this fucking flower field from this position of view from up all the way up there just like the pattern of the flower of the flowers repeats you know what I, i'm kind of like what makes me think that this whole fucking game really does take place in cyberspace and not just the levels is well because when we're fishing like the graphics are glitching out what the fuck's that about but well, i didn't want to fucking do that see the flowers it looks fine now but then like you approach it and now it fucking starts to repeat. Now that the flowers loaded in a little bit better. And then more flowers load in and then it's fine. Why did I fucking do that again? I'm committing suicide. Head first into the ground. That's what's called. Parachute jumping with no parachute. It's uh, extremely extra extra. Extremely extreme sport. It's extremely stupid. It's like still shit in the background. I can't even access it. Oh look, it's safe. I found her. She's so small I could barely see her in the grass. Who's the mother though? Wait, why are there hearts around us? It looks like Tails was right. The ruins were tech the ancients used to upload thoughts into cyberspace, but not their bodies. Correct. They desired to archive all their achievements, creations, and knowledge. She turns they blue. They could pass it between their own people. What's that? They could pass it on to those who inherited this world from them. This way, they could pass on not only technical knowledge, but their cognizance and intentions as well. So, it's basically a big old backup hard drive for everything about them. That's pretty amazing. Not gonna lie, I really love Sage's design. 
especially that little pattern that repeats on her like on her legs kind of makes her look like she has stockings with like a, like a checkered pattern that's really cute Now one thing I kind of wish, but that might sound a little stupid, is her design to encompor... encompor... ah, what the fuck is the word I'm trying to say? Take something from Eggman's design, because, you know, he's supposed to be her father. It'd be kind of cute if she, for example, had... Well, that's the thing, nothing about Eggman's design I can think of would fit her design. Maybe the color palette, like if in the second game, she would appear in like a red dress with like white accents and some yellow accents. I don't know these levels, because like I said earlier, I never actually fucking bothered with these stages in this chapter. I just simply skipped all of them. Like a big old cheater. I wish I could speed these fucking parts up. All this filler bullshit animation. What's the word? Team does this level ah oh, fuck does this level care? It's not chemical plant, is it? Kinda of looks like it, but Not it, is it? Or is it? Ah, fucking not. Maybe. Am I even gone the wrong, the correct fucking way? I don't know anymore. That was convoluted. Look how much time I'm wasting doing this fucking thing. Minute 30. 32. Nine. First try, I never played this stage before. And it pulled it off. First try. You know why? Because I'm fucking epic, that's right. Epic as fuck. Best gamer in the whole platform. All of you two. No one's better than me. Who? Who? Who you're saying is better than me? Him? Her? I don't know, I didn't really hurt very well. They're not, though. Because I'm the best. You need proof? Well, rewind this fucking video two minutes and you'll see the proof. That level is unbeatable, I'm the only one to ever beat it. The piston is unleashed upon us. Ah, uh, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. It's over here. A puzzle. Oh, it's this fucking thing. Difficult stuff. Ow, my nose. Don't do coke. It hurts your nose. Like, physically hurts your nose, it hurts me. It's about to fall off, I think. I look like Michael Jackson soon. A water challenge. No, don't fucking touch this flower. What? You know what I just... Oh my god, why is the texture for the floor this flat texture of flowers? And there's a bunch of flowers. Oh, it looks awful. That's why this texture repeats. I thought the pattern of the flowers that are sticking from the ground repeats, but no. Because those are loaded in later. It's the pattern of the fucking ground. It looks kind of ugly when you look up close. And what the fuck is with this island? Oh, not this fucker. Ah, oh, he's the warden. I hate this fucking enemy.
What? Oh, fuck. They made the railing too high. Come back. What am I supposed to do? The motherfucker took my chaos emerald. Oh, but the level expands here. Why couldn't I fucking walk through the woods? The dumbest thing ever. That's the anti-journalist puzzle. Hardest puzzle is to jump over a wall. By the way, guys. You may be thinking, why do gaming journalists are so fucking trash at video games? Well, because... And the reason for that is... When you become... It's basically journalists who didn't make it into any other fucking... Game field of journalism. They didn't make it into sports journalism, they didn't make it into like fucking news journalism or anything. So they were like, well I play video games sometimes I guess, I played one before. I'll fucking be a video game journalist. That's why they all fucking suck. They put on the resume that, yeah I did play a video game once. And that's good enough. Because what's more important, to be a... To fucking know what journalism is even about? What do I do here? Oh, see, he slides down now. Sometimes he just holds on, like, infinitely. Oh, shit. Is it fucking, di like, is are there different walls in this fucking game? Like, some make him slide down, some don't. What are you doing here, old man? Fucking get a job. My favorite thing about my job is that I don't feel depressed anymore. Too busy to be depressed. Too busy to have depressing thoughts. Usually around winter I would get depressed. That was fucking... a little too much. Run my cyberpunk and my San Andreas let's play. I was recording them around the winter like that, December. That was some fucked up episodes. I got the piss gem. Stone. Power gem. What's it called? A chaos emerald. That's not what it's called. If it were an emerald, it'd be green, okay? It was yellow. Unless you can't tell yellow from green like my friend. There's a problem with these two colors. But it's only like these very specific shades of yellow because sometimes like I think we were playing like a board game and it's like uh Yeah, we we're playing some board game, I don't remember what, but this uh I don't remember what the fuck was this game? Oh it's called hacker. And and there's a yellow piece and a green piece. And the shade of yellow or the well no, it's more like the shade of yellow kind of fucking is very on the edge of being fucking green like it is yellow but it fucking looks greenish and he always has fucking problems telling which one's fucking which and we made fun of him for that obviously and yeah emeralds are green emeralds so this is not an emerald it is a power gem. Why the fuck did these fuckers even bother putting these? All these cool forest areas, I wanna fucking go to them. How long is this episode? Done nothing this episode. Thankfully I got a thumbnail for it because I was a cut scene earlier. There's no point in doing all this fucking parkours that I come across, because what is the point, really, of doing all of these? There is no point. You know why? Because I, the point of them is, like, you run into a parkour, like, let's take this one, we'll do this one really quickly. Check it out. I run into it, I'm like, oh, I'll fucking go to this wall. And what awaits me at the end of it, you might be thinking. Well, let's check it out. I get 
a memory token. Sage's memory token, which is just reused Amy's memory token, but whatever. What the fuck is that about? Bunch of rings in the sky. Rings in the sky, keep on turning. And... I don't fucking need those anymore. Man, I love these fucking rails, these long ones, you can just grind to the other side of the map on them, that's really fucking cool. I went the wrong way, I think. I always fucking do. God damn it, it's fucking, the marker for my objective is garbage. They should, like the green beam is cool, but what they should have also fucking given me, it fucks me up more often than I can fucking count on my left foot. It's the fucking... You know how, like, main objectives have a marker on the map? Like, it's for, it's on fucking Sonic's face right now? They should have made the same thing, but, like, orange. For whatever this is. Dildo. Hammer. Damn, I fucked him up. Aw, oh, come on. I got him, motherfucker. Not like I didn't fought these things before. Also, these fucking green hills that I'm running around. <laughs> Get it, like, green hill so. They look a lot like those, that fucking area from so, the one cutscene in Sonic 06. And I played Sonic 06 so much I remember cutscenes from that game. Look, I actually liked the game when I first played it. Yeah, for real. I was like, well, I guess this is what Sonic is. I like it, I guess. There's no new Crash game, so this is what I'll have to go with, I guess. And now we have new Crash games, and and it's been a year since the last Crash Bandicoot. Ah, oh, fuck this guy, he sucks. We fought him already. This guy sucks a dick. I'm not fighting him, get out of here. I don't care. It's fucking lame. Let's go for this fucking Chaos Emerald, because there's also a collectible next to it. Is that the way? This is a really cool pyramid over here, I like it. Can I climb it? I'm really on the edge. Episode's about to end and I just fucking engage with some parkour. God knows how long it may be. Oh, not very long. Okay, cool. 28 minutes. Can this fucking game end? I mean, this video? Jesus Christ. How is it that I'm feeling like I've been recording for hours at this point? And then I look at the fucking video link and it's like, oh, two seconds. I'm like, what? Two seconds? Pretty sure my intro is longer than two seconds. I'm pretty sure it's three seconds long. The outro is two seconds long. Ah, uh, whoops. Well, whatever. There we are. Is this episode over yet, or what the fuck? I'll tell you a story for this one remaining minute. Today at work, I'll I uh killed a man. I chopped him to tiny little pieces with a bus saw, and then I put him uh in my fucking socks. And that's the story. I was never caught. I mean, yeah, it's, cause it's fucking been today. Also, there were cameras, so they probably got got this shit recorded. Also, I lied, so none of this happened. So, yeah, obviously. So, look at that tower in, in the background. It's like very, it's like this ancient like shit around it, like moss, and then in the middle, there's just this black fucking sharp as fuck triangle. What's that about? I don't know, we're gonna climb it next episode to find out what it, what's going on with this shit. See you fellas in the next episode, bye.